In this video you will learn how to fix the most popular Angular problem and this is property has no initializer. When we are getting this error. As you can see here I already prepared for us an empty project just with an app component. The only difference is that here I have child component TS yes, which is just a small component and we are rendering this component inside our app component HTML. But now if we will try to add an input, like normal input without any magic, and let's say that we want to provide here current page property, and we want to say that this is a number, we will get our error. So property current page has no initializer and is not definitely assigned in the constructor. What does it mean? Here we are talking not about Angular but about TypeScript. And TypeScript inside this child component does not see that we initialized current page inside our component. Now let's look on the wrong solutions to this problem. First thing that people are doing, they are writing here any. In this case we are not getting any errors from the TypeScript and we solved this problem. But we stopped using TypeScript at all and it doesn't make any sense to do that. Another possible variant is just to disable this rule. This is why you can go directly inside your project and here we have our tsconfig.json. And inside our compiler options you can just create a new property which is called strict property initialization and you can set it to false. Then TypeScript won't show you this error at all. This is also a bad variant. You can also change here the whole project from strict true to strict false and this is also wrong because you want your project to be as strict as possible and you want to get all your errors not in the runtime but in compiling time. And the last solution which is not really bad but it is so-so, you can put here an exclamation mark after current page and as you can see the error is gone. What this code means for TypeScript you are simply saying ok I am 100% sure that here I will provide a value and this is really a number. You will never get here undefined. But realistically you are wrong because it might happen that somebody don't provide an input inside your component and then your component is broken. So what solutions do we have here? And the first solution here is to provide a default value. And this is the best fix possible if you can do that. For example for current page you can simply say the number is 0 and then you are good to go. Your component will never be broken even if somebody didn't provide something in the input. Another cool thing that you can do if for example we are talking about an input which is a string and you don't really want to default it to something. You can say here that you have a name and here you can just try default value not implemented. In this case your component won't be broken but people will see ok name is not implemented which means we didn't provide enough information inside this component. Another solution that you might use here is or undefined. And in this case here we are saying that by default it can be undefined and then we are not getting an error because we are fully aware that this is an input and our input can be undefined. But here is the problem, now in every single place inside our component we must check that our current page is really set and it is not undefined. And it is even worse if we are talking about nested objects like for example the whole interface of the user. So realistically all variants except of default value and setting it as undefined by default are bad. And if you are interested to know how to use ngx bootstrap library to implement different components inside Angular, make sure to check this video also.